you mentioned since you were a kid, you've had this sort of natural curiosity. Let's let's sort of start from the beginning. You started playing piano when you were four years old. Four or five. Amazing. How, I mean, how does how do you start playing when you you just start? Yeah, my parents took me to piano lessons. Mrs. Thomas, who was this wonderful, is a wonderful lady, a wonderful teacher, who you know played weddings and funerals in my hometown and also taught very good with kids and uh, we do the classical lessons and then uh, play um, she would play Albert Ammons boogie woogie piano for me at the end of the lesson so I was hearing a lot of music at home and I had great teachers all the way through till now I still have great teachers but I've been fortunate enough to have fantastic um, a band teacher in my band music program that was a former jazz musician professionally before he taught high school band mm -hmm. so he played bass with me and uh, in my trio and showed me how to write out charts and turned me on to John Coltrane and Miles Davis wow. and uh, Charlie Parker and Bill Evans. I just had a really You know, the success can, can spook you and uh, you've had a lot of it in a very short period of time. Let, let's just, if you don't mind, if we could just mm. talk a little bit about uh, the first jazz record in Canada to be a gold album, yeah. which which was which album? Your last record. The last one and this one. This one went shipped gold. That's fabulous. I guess that's what they told me. It is good because it means that I get to play music and the best part of the success thing is, I mean, I don't have time to read my articles. <laughs> I don't really have time to think about it, which I think is very healthy. And, um, but I do have time. I was talking to my mom and dad last night. When uh, started becoming more busy, becoming busier, and people started recognizing I got nominated for a Grammy. Uh, at that time, my mother was undergoing a bone marrow transplant, mm -hmm. and you know, for me, family, she and she's doing really well, and we're working on our our second benefit for the Vancouver oh, Bone Marrow Unit Hospital. Yeah, and she's working on it and going great guns. And it's been three years now, and she's she's cool. She's very healthy, and this just I think made me realize that family is the most important thing to me and my friends and people and relationships. That's then there's music, you know, and um, which comes from that. What about peel me a grape? What I read somewhere that uh, was it you and your sister and your mom in at the that kitchen. Time where my mom, no, at that time when my mom was in the hospital, um, we were, uh, my sister and I were home by ourselves and um, I think we would just crank it up while we were cooking, you know, and it would just cheer us up and she typed out the lyrics for me and I sang them just for her birthday, not thinking anything of it. I just thought they were really cool. Yeah, this is what we want, you know. And, um, it worked. <laughs> 